Hello everyone, hope you all are fine. Today we are going to know the tips and criteria of how to write an introduction of an effective research paper. Firstly, I will help you by knowing that what is an introduction for a research paper. What are the importance of an introduction in your research paper? This short guide will describe the purpose of a research paper introduction, how to create a good one. Firstly, it guides your reader for a general subject area to the narrow topic that your paper covers. It seems obvious that the introduction is always placed at the beginning of the paper and it guides the readers about the topic about the subject area of your topic and about the all the information which you are covering they also explain three points a uh, first question which arises in your mind what information and introduction provide you this question will appear in your mind and then three points explain this or you can say they also explain your paper one is scope of the topic scope of the topic describes the topic you are covering what is the scope of that topic in this uh, I can say that in this uh, environment or in this field of study which you are taking or the which you have selected your topic it will describe the scope of your work how important and how efficient topic you have selected for your research next point is background for your topic background for your topic is very important it will show you or it will show the reader what the previous work and what the previous research researchers have done the work on your specific topic and on your field and what are the flaws and drawbacks which you are going to cover in your study so background is very important you can also say the context of your paper or background of your topic third point is importance you can say it importance why your research matter in the context of an industry or a world or you can say that value of a research in the context of the world so this is the point that what information and introduction provide you okay and you know that introduction covers a lot of area of your research paper but only it will appear uh, half of the page or few page longs only in a research article or in a research paper you can read you can write introduction half paper or a few pages long basically the length depends upon the size of your paper as a whole okay now the next question which appears in your mind is why an intro introduction is important to a research paper okay this is important because your reason reader do not know what your research paper is about to from the title title don't describe your work so introduction is very important for the reader therefore introduction comes okay first point how it helps your reader why it is important it helps reader understand the previous work about your topic what is your previous work what you have done what others have done okay next explain why your research paper is worth reading for them why your research paper is important or it's not a wastage of time for them while reading your paper your introduction will ground them and prepare them from the in-depth research to come okay in case you can describe these points in a form of flow chart that from introduction you will move towards the conclusion and decision when the reader read a introduction introduction will give him all the knowledge about the backward information about the tools about the methodologies about the experience about the experiments which that person 
the researcher have done previously that researcher have done and what are the results which appear and you can do much better than them so when you read the introduction you will move towards the discussion and conclusion okay what content is required in an introduction or you can say what should you include in an introduction for a research paper these are the points which you can include in the introduction of your research paper these are the essential points which should be included in your introduction of your any kind of research paper first is overview of the topic overview of the topic start with a general overview of your topic but only share required information not too much needed just give the basic or general overview of your topic nothing more required just the basic next is prior research this point shows the background information according to your topic okay what is the background work this include both the old scholar and the modern scholar what they have done in the background they show the information of their research work so you can also include few lines of if you are writing a simple review paper or article if you are writing a research paper you can write up one paragraph of overview of the topic and one paragraph of this prior research okay but most importantly this point is very important be sure to cite all the background information references references are very important surely it's important to cite the references of each of the topic point which you are taking from an other researcher i know you are not copying their work but you are taking an idea so you should cite okay then the next point is a rational for your paper this point reveal the research gap in current research or you can in the previous research and explain why your topic need to be addressed right now basically or in simple word you can say that explain why your topic is needed to address right now why your work is needed to do right now in this specific time what new changes you are going to do okay as compared to the others this point is only showing this okay no matter how you do it you can share your formulas what methods you are trying to put or what theories you are going to apply to improve more proper way to cover that research gap okay increase the quality of the previous work then the next step is describe the methodology you use in this point or you can say this point reveal your purpose of conducting research and describe how you are analyze evaluate and measure result explain your key choices in short or in simple words this point show that what now you have done what results you have calculated what what better you have done or what better betterment you have done in that previous work okay describe how you measured your results okay uh, how you achieve your goal and questions the answers which are putting the question mark in the previous work now you have give their answers so this point only describe this now the last point is an outline to a research paper introduction often conclude with an outline basically outline is a road map that take your reader to the end of your paper your describe your whole journey to your reader so outline is very important but it basically or mostly you can say it depends upon that field of your paper for example a physics research paper or any scientific kind of research paper might emphasize methodology but any english general research paper or any conference english research paper or any literature journal article might highlight the overview so overview is important but in some fields so this is the last point 
एंड एज यू कैन सी वी हैव कवर थ्री पॉइंट्स बेसिकली वॉट इज एन इंट्रोडक्शन फॉर अ रिसर्च पेपर इम्पॉर्टेंस ऑफ इंट्रोडक्शन वाई इज एन इंट्रोडक्शन इज इम्पॉर्टेंट टू अर रिसर्च पेपर एंड वॉट कॉन्टेंट इज रिक्वायर्ड इन एन इंट्रोडक्शन इफ यू की पॉइंट और फॉलो दीज थ्री मेन हाईलाइटेड पॉइंट्स इन योर माइंड वाइल डूइंग योर रिसर्च और वाई राइटिंग योर इंट्रोडक्शन इट विल बी वेरी ईजी एंड वेरी हेल्पफुल फॉर यू टू रीच योर गोल टिल देन टेक केयर एंड इन शाला वी विल मीट इन माई नेक्स्ट वीडियो इफ यू वॉन्ट एनी काइंड ऑफ इंफॉर्मेशन रिकॉर्डिंग टू रिसर्च वर्क रिसर्च पेपर डू कॉन्टैक्ट मी एंड डू सब्सक्राइब माई चैनल एंड डू टेक केयर ऑफ योर सेल्फ एंड डू मोर रिसर्च एंड मोर वर्क टिल देन अल्लाह हाफि